All right. Do I have volume off? What the hell is this? Why is it not making noise? One slash five RBB fours. Two nines. There we go. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, we're gonna assume that it works. And if it doesn't, I don't really care. Yeah, I might have just spit. I don't really care. I'll spit on these players. All right, so this is a special game lobby. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think my special game lobby was a bit tougher than this one. I mean, John Scoutman. Mm -hmm. The Scoutmaster. I'm not going to introduce these players, by the way. So we're just, you know, cycling through these guys. I don't really care. Good commentary. Really low energy. I keep having to clear my throat. That's kind of annoying. Probably for you guys, but like, again, I just don't care. I just really, really don't. Of course I can have a chill 347 game like Pingu. I don't know, that game kind of heated up at the end. I was certainly nervous. So, five one R R R M four. Oh, that's kind of an AIDS invest. I'm not gonna lie. Just investigate one. He's one looks very liberal. Not very liberal. He's like the most liberal on the table because he played a blue. Just investigate the blue guy. Don't investigate a random person because like. Why, why not invest three or seven or like whatever? Like, what's stopping five from just choosing who their co fascist is in here and just inving them live? So, like, it just makes it really hard for four to get a C this game, even if a protection gov's played. Like, what protects against four or five X? It could be anything right now. It could be two, four, five. It could be three, four, five. It could be four, five, seven. Four, five, six. All those lines make sense. One, four, five, one H, even. It's like one four five five eight, and you don't think five's gonna cough you. Um, I don't know. I think one four five one eight would be more likely though. It's like yeah, it could even be one four five one got B B B. You know, it's like I don't know. It's like when you investigate one here, there's just not as many lines you can call that make sense, but like, who can be teammates if like, who can be a t who can be on a team of one and five? Because there's like a very standard way to play one five x lines, not two because you think you know one two five you spam blues in that line or one five six you spam blues in that line, unless two got legit RRR you can kind of do some deduction there. But when you investigate four, it's like who can be on a team with four five? Almost any anyone can be really. So there's no good protection of the play. It's just very low info, and it's going to be going off of vibes. And I really, really dislike this inv investigation from, from, uh, from C5. I think it's really poor. It's also super bad, because when you investigate four, you kind of force one into play, um, even though he was going to play anyways, probably, on, inv on lib. But like, it's like... You have to 9 to 1 if you want 4 to take next. So people like in seats 2, 3, 6, 7, they can think, oh, maybe it's 1, 4, 5, or something. 
Like, you make 1 5x look more likely, e even though you didn't investigate 1, too, because you kind of just guarantee you get to play next with this investigation. Although, I mean, 1 4 5 in particular is still very, very unlikely when 1 5 is not a DD. You can't say 1 5x isn't that likely um, with 4. You can't say that. Although, it's not as good as just inving one lib, I don't think. I I really don't. Four two reverse cuckoo. I hate this chat. Dude's probably fascist. Why would you lib four here? Like, you know if I was fascist if you're a liberal in C2. So it's like, what, just, well, I guess five could, five's probably fascist if you're a liberal in C2. Because one's not underclaiming two on top of that. Like, come on. For five to be liberal, one also has to be liberal or like Hitler or something. Because otherwise, why wouldn't they just underclaim RBB as reg. So like, one should be very lib to two's point of view, unless it's one five x, and one doesn't want to overclaim to help five out. In which case though, I mean, it could be one four five, but a good portion of the time, could be. It's not ruled out. I don't know why you'd call four two cuckoo. I mean, it's just, like, what, the line where 4-2 or two, 2 libs is usually 3-6-7, and that's just one line. I suppose there are some kind of weird lines with one being Hitler, I guess, but you shouldn't be living for this earliest too. I'm going to hope that's a joke comment, or at least I'm going to hope that's on the table interprets it, because I am rooting for 2 to win. And now I still think 5 is fascist, and they didn't out on Cuckoo, so now I'm going to say 4-5 or 2. I guess five could be Hitler, but I don't think he's getting the Heil here. So I'm gonna say four or five are probably two fascists. And hmm. I think one five D one five B B is pretty unlikely in this deck though. So I'll I'll just call one liberal. And it's like it's not like you can get B B B twice, so it's like he had a chance to underclaim on two occasions. It's like if five is liberal, one probably is, although five isn't lib. I, I think one should just get a C even on six one conflict. I still think that that should be what happens, is just nining to one. So six didn't conflict one. I think that gives him more lib equity when he doesn't conflict like that. Um Yeah. I, I, I do think, yeah. If two's lib, he should just have seen one instantly. I mean, it's like, like five is probably fascist to you still, over one. I mean, if I, I guess it could be three, six, seven or some stupid shit, although, yeah, I guess technically it could be. Where like five just makes a really lucky invest, but like if you're C2, you should just be seeing one though, because it's like once term locked, so his, his odds of Hitler of being Hitler go down when he plays like this, or when he's co fascist potentially opt to not term lock him going into Hitler's own. And um it's also like if five's liberal and one's not, why isn't one under claiming these RBBs? Maybe one of them can be BBB, but that's even that's super unlikely. They can't both be BBB. That's confirmed when Dex 5B. So it's like, what is one doing if 2-5 are two liberals and he's not underclaiming RBB? So I, 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 I do hope if 2 is liberal, he just SCs 1. I do hope so. <sighs> I mean... Yeah, two, two, and I think two should really make an early essay here, because it's like, 
you don't want 4 and 5 to build momentum. You don't want 1 of 3, 7 saying, okay, 2 is not talking, he's fascist, I need to take charge and argue for 4 because I like 4. I think when you're in, a, you're in, when you're in our, our president like this and you know one's probably just liberal, I think you can just SD1 early and often because it just doesn't make sense for him to be fascist in most cases. At least, yeah, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. So 7 might try an SC3. Is that what Andrew's saying? Uh, Andrew's saying it. Doesn't mean 7's saying it. I didn't read the chat too much. I'm just kind of going over mechanics, really. Like, just on, just on concrete information alone, you can throw chat in the garbage. What you often want to do in these really high-low games, if you're not that good of a player, you know, I can read, I can have like a decent read on these guys, but like concrete knowledge is always more important. One should just be liberal in most cases. He should be. At least to two's point of view, and I'm kind of playing from two's point of view since he's my player. And, um, yeah, I'm surprised two has an SV1 yet, which is starting to make me think that maybe he's not a liberal. And he's keeping his options open. But I, I, I do think Table should recognize that any liberal in two is a seeing one. Especially when seven likes one. Oh, yes. You have to, to really just... Yeah, you have to SC one. You just have to. Uh... That's it. So if seven's calling two five is too fascist. Mm, I think seven's liberal. I think one's liberal. It might be two five x. Why five one being RRR? Five h maybe. It could be like two five six five h. Um. Could be two four five. Um. And five can RRR and five one. Even for liberal, because that forces 1x and then it forces 4 to play with odds of getting SE. I think 2, 4, 5 is very viable. Um, I think 2, 4, 5 is probably the most likely line as we speak right now. If 5's Hitler, there are more possible lines. Um, I think Dev's liberal this game, and he normally plays pretty well, and he just likes 2. So, interesting stuff. The only reason I think Dev's liberal is because he's calling one liberal um, and no one else is. Which I think by now other people should be saying one's liberal. Especially after seven libs them, one's, lib one's fascist lines are reduced to pretty much nothing. One, two, seven, one, five, seven. We, 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 we assume one of two, five drop, even though it's five B, because if they. We assume one of two, five is a fascist if one's. Wait a minute, how do I put this? We assume that 2-5 aren't in the blue because one didn't underclaim RBB. I guess it could be Hitler, but I mean, he's kind of, yeah, I don't, I don't see it, especially it's like one Hitler with six being like a reg isn't that much off, that isn't a thing that often because six is turn locking one. I guess it could be if you want to go for like D-Day or SC-1, you can't turn lock the SC-1, so I, I actually won't say that. 1H6 reg is fairly common. Oh, 2 is SCing 4? 2 is outed fascist. He just is. He should never SC. He should never be SCing 4. <coughs> when 7 SCs 1. Never, ever. If 5 is liberal, um, and got RRR, along with you and your RRR, why isn't 1 under claiming RBB? Um, 3's, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's 2-4-5, and I don't think we're going to win this game. Maybe it's 2-4-5-4-H, and we have uh, Scoutman Throw Gods, but I think 1-7 is a pretty easy find for seat 1 here, although nerves do add to that. Oh! 4 gets us here? Oh. I, 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 I think a liberal's throwing. Or it's like 2-5-6-5-H. It's one of the two. I, I, I really hope it's not two making this SC onto four. That would that would really bum my day out. It would Yeah, 
that'd just be disappointing, actually. I, I really hope. I mean, it's like, 7 called, what, 2, 5, dex. It doesn't mean 7's fascist, though. Come on, 2. You can't, like, like, look up. You know, I, I am, like, 1's just liberal, even if 7's fascist, is seeing them. I mean, come on. 2, 5 or 2 liberals, and 1 is an underclaiming RVB. Or it's, what, 1, 5, 7? With 4 being a trapped liberal? But 1, 5, 7, and... No, it can't be 1, 5, 7. 5 didn't out on Cuckoo. 1, 5, 7, 5, H? You're playing really weird in 4 for Hitler. Really weird play for Hitler from 5. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's like, yeah, 1 doesn't have any lines that make sense. To two's point of view, anyways, I think two is added fascist or throwing liberal. Um, it's I, I think either it's what two four five or four five six, and one of these two players do, or it's two five six five H, and it's on Newt now to not Heil, which I think he has good odds of doing. I think sevens seven has very logical reasons of seeing one, and when seven SCs one and the other regs don't SC one two, his CNH equity goes up. I mean, it's a special game, so people can be tricky and like split lines and shit like that. Because, you know, people know that 7 looks C and H if 4 gets SC, and that makes 4 7 more likely. There are layers at this level of play. But I, I think I think seven's played pretty logically. And on top of that, I mean, I think 4 should know that 1 should get SC most of the time. At least. Or at least the two should be seeing one if he's liberal, and he's not. So he should really be wondering, two is fascist when he doesn't SC one. Why is he seeing me instead? Five H probably. And seven, and we also know right that if one's liberal, which I think he should be at this point when two makes no effort to SC him. If one's liberal, then um. Um, how come no one else bothered to say one was liberal besides Seven? And I think that's the main reason why Seven's liberal at this point, is because he was the only one who said what needed to be said about Seat One's role. So, yeah, and Two is attacking Seven. I, I mean, Two is talking a lot. In the past, this meant that he was lib. He has been talking more as fascist now. I. I do think two still has equity of being like, maybe like really scared of Dev. Like, oh, Dev's a good player who normally reads people right, and he has seed one, but so he's fascist because he called two five x earlier. I think I think seven called two five as two. I mean, so I'm going to just play off of seven being fascist, and that's that's I don't like playing that way. I don't. People have told me, though, that if like a player like Dev or Pingu calls you fascist, you just fash them back. But, you know, these are people. They are capable of making mistakes. It sounds like Dev is very active, to be fair. And it's also like, you have to like think about what's his reasoning for calling 2-5-X if he's fascist? Like, what does he get out of that to Sheep-6, maybe? I mean... I don't know. I think one seven or two liberals and cuckoo happens. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Oh, and one likes two? Oh no. I think this is a high. I it's got I hope it's two, four, five and not four, five, six. I really do. Or two five six five H. I I oh, five is so fascist. How are they getting Chancellor? How does no one care? Seven stalling too. Oh, he's so liberal. He's so liberal. Please don't be Bezo. Don't be Bezo. All right, right, right. Gotta be. Whoa. Huh. 
Huh. What is this? What? Okay. I have to reevaluate. I okay, I'm I'm really glad I wasn't sent into this game. <laughs> I really left. I'm really glad I wasn't sent into this game. I had everything wrong. Is the, is this is that what's happening? Five didn't out on Cuckoo and he's C and H. That's a liberal in seat five. What? What? I hope it's T well, I don't know, I hope Basil wins for, first and foremost. But what is this game? I would have liked more time to think about it, but if Oh no. Oh no. True. Two can't SC4. That's a fascist out. It is. No, dude. Come on. No, man. No, you need to SC1 in this spot. You just need to. Any, any, any SC that's not 1 from C2 is a fascist out. At this level, it is. It definitely is. I mean... I, one two seven makes sense. I I, I think five one in four lib is very, is a very fascist way to play. So I kind of just auto fashed it. And to be fair, I was playing from two's point of view for most of this game. And I will say that as fascist or I think as Hitler or really any any rule, the liberal fascist Hitler, two needs to be a seeing one. Especially one seven does so. Um, because any other SC is just a fascist out. Wow. I, I. Yeah. And 3 6 are fighting too. This was a. Yeah, this was. Well, to be fair to Two's point of view. Two, four, five. Um, that's very off in the line. So it's like, if so, the reason why you'd SC1 is not because you think one's reg. No. But because in order for two to be liberal, one also has to be liberal. And SCing someone who's not one is a fascist out. But let's say you're, you're Hitler in C2 and you think, wow, five's played really fascist like I did. And, um, maybe you, what you can try to do is be like, okay, maybe a liberal will throw an SE4 in my 245 line, because I think 5 is very fascist when they are on it like that. Um, so if one, I can wait for a liberal to throw, and then I can SE4 too. Um, or alternatively, if you're confident that one is fascist, and you think the table has you as fascist, what you can do is you can insta SE4, like what you did, and hope, oh, I'm SCing four, that's gonna shade people, that's gonna make people think it's two, four, five, and maybe one will get a C. But the thing is, three, six are conflicting this game. So when two SCs four, two, four, five is an online if they stick by that. So that's not an option in this game. In some other games it would be, but not in this one. Um, I, I think I think I see one is just the most proper play. You have two options. You can either say, okay, I think two, four, five is my line, and I'm going to wait to see if a liberal in three, six, SC four, and if they do, I'm going to SC four two, even though it's no shame fascism. That's a way to play it, or you can say, I'm going to SC1 pretty fast since he's always liberal if I'm liberal, or almost always liberal if I'm liberal, and um, this will at least make it so I'm not out in fascist to the table, I have a chance of living through the shot. Like if 4 or 5s are, or I think 2 is just, 2 has great odds of being blasted. I, I think so. Well, I guess 6 does, but... Huh. Did two get legit RRR 
on 2-6. That could maybe make them think that 5 is on um, their right. They did! Oh, that's a game changer. Is it though? It's a 5B deck. So still, it could theoretically be 5 just tanked. But, huh. Okay. Now I understand what's happening here. I think Bezo had 245 once he sees this. Yeah. And it's like, okay, maybe, maybe it's, um, I mean, the thing about 245 lines, though, is that he kind of outfashes when he was C4, so you still shouldn't be SCing 4 first. You still shouldn't be SCing 4 first. <laughs> but I can understand why he has seed 4 at least. Because he saw the back to back RR, and it's a 5B deck. But once, but to his point of view, you can think okay, if 5 is liberal, and being another liberal, then why aren't. That, if 1's my co fascist, why isn't Tinder claiming RVB to shade 5? Right? And there's a few reasons for that. If you go 1 3 RB blue, actually. Well, 1-5 RBB, you just claim RBB to not hurt 2, because you don't know 5's going to tank. Maybe 2 tanks, and he did. And then the second RBB, um, let's say 3 is liberal, which he's more than likely to be, since, um, to 2's point of view, since there's a 33% chance. Since, if, so let's say, we're assuming that 5-4 are 2 liberals for this thought exercise, and you're C2 Hitler. So you're like, okay, 5, 4 are 2 liberals, and 1 is my reg. Is this possible for 5, 4 to be 2 libs and 1 is my reg? Why is 1, 3 not just an underclaim then to shade 5? Reason being, if you force, that brings, that makes 3 look more liberal than 1. So now all of a sudden, 3 would get SE over 1 in many cases. Because 3 denied HZ. Maybe it doesn't make 3 look more liberal, but it gives three an argument on four or five R that you don't want to. Um, wow. Okay. Huh. This game. Yep. So, I think. So, uh, what what do we think happened here? Is I guess it's a five B deck. And two thought five who went RR and then chose not to move one with M4 instead was a fascist move, which I would agree with. And he had two four five as a result, which I think is reasonable. And he has seed four. Too early, in my opinion. It's but I still think it's reasonable to SE four from his point of view. He should be waiting for one of three six to SE four first. Unless well, yeah, you should at least wait to see what 7 does. I think 2 SC4 before 7 SC1, that's bad. You should wait for the first SC to be made. And then SC4 after if you make it 4, 2, 4, 5. And then hope that, like, the, th the 3, 6, lib, lib, comp, whatever, stays in effect. You don't want to, you don't want to insta S, you don't want to insta SC in this spot because people will think, why does 2 have no fear about 4 being fascist when 5 is also RRR? Is two fascists, is three six maybe a little bit comp and two four five lines. You know, I think two SC four way too fast. But I do think two thinking it's two four five is reasonable. And I think two SC four isn't the worst thing in the world. I I don't think so. Huh. Wow. Okay. And this was what, also RBB? Not BBB or anything like that? Okay. And then the rest of the game, it was only libs in power, so you don't even need to see what the rest of the claims were. Right? No Chad plays from Tiago? Nope. <laughs> uh, wow. Really? I have no idea how he found 4-5 in that spot. Huh. Because he got SE without 
any resistance. Well, I can see our resistance from 7. But, I mean, if I were to say 4, I'd be like, why is 2 outing fascist to SC and he's 5 Hitler? What's going on here? Really well played from him this game. I must say. Um, well then. Interesting game of SH. I, I, I thought Bezo through at first, and I think he could have played better. I think SC and 4 was a, that fast is a bit bad. But... I do understand now what he was doing. I understand now why he made. I understand why now. I understand now why he um, had four as his pro fascist instead of one. So I think he had two routes to go with: the don't out fascist and just make the yes scheme that you'd make if you're liberal, or the out fascist route, but you're seeing your pro fascist a lot of the time. And he chose the second route, and unfortunately. Um, Four was liberal, although I can totally see why two would go down that route and why he would think four is fascist. Good game. Really enjoyed commenting this one. Take care. Bye.